coffee, man. We're getting such little sleep <laughs> these last few weeks, man. It's funny, there's certain words in Chinese that do not translate uh, or that actually di directly from English translate. So, for example, when you have cappuccino, it's cappuccino. And then one that Ruben really likes is uh, cola, like Coca Cola. It's Coca Cola. <laughs> and every time he's just laughing when I say, yeah, I want Coca Cola, Wu Tang, without sugar. So, yeah, last day here. Um, we'll be going to Shanghai tomorrow. And today, what we're gonna do is uh, the usual little more work. But one thing that we're gonna do as well, we got a few new team members, so I wanna pick up some gear. So, we'll be headed to the Apple Store where we're gonna buy, uh, yeah, some gear, phones and laptops. So, other than that, the usual, just uh, powering through the to-dos, that first thing of the morning with a coffee, we're gonna write down on paper and then just power through them. Wait, wait, Zufu, pretty much. Bro, WeChat's so efficient. The entire country functions on this app. It's called WeChat. It has, I think, with well over a billion daily users, and you can do everything with it from ordering groceries to products to taking care of your phone bills to ordering taxis, booking flights to sending money like how you do in the US with, um, with Venmo. It's the same thing. You can watch people's stories in there. So it's Instagram as well, slash Facebook. It's, it's crazy. Yo. All my L's, they call me the V. Aye. Yo, she and I fuck my ex. Got on sexy red in a V. After this upgrade, our team will even be faster. For the ones that know, they know they're already fast as hell. So it's going to be crazy now. So, because the amount is quite high, they make you call customer support to confirm it, and they're just on the spot confirming it like, are you supposed to spend this amount? And now I can agree to spend or not spend it. No way. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. Slack. What else do we use, boys? No. 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 Yeah, I mean, we'll just get you the whole thing. So Art. I just wanted to get the stuff. And then also, what we can do is we can get you both separate sims, so you can use it for work only.
好，好吃吗？好。我在中国的时候，他们都听不懂我说话，那我怎么办啊？ What's up, big dog? What up? What are you working big on, bro? I'm working on some designs, on some new designs for a new tool, and I'm recording everything, so we will share everything in the building in public series. It's gonna be a solid product, eh? Very solid. Dark mode, so I'm I'm excited to design. I'm done designing this light mode stuff. <laughs> Dark mode only, man. You need to introduce yourself. Everyone's asking. Who's the new team member? <laughs> You know the amount of calories uh, a chess player is burning during a tournament of chess? No. It's ridiculous. Bro, 6,000 calories a day. Yeah, man. What we're the thinking, hell, man? we're thinking. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think one of the things that really exhausts me is the fact that I understand everything. Because when you guys are speaking Dutch, yeah. when they speak Chinese, I understand it. Yeah. And when then also everyone speaks English, yeah. then I understand and it as well. And you have to convert it. And then I also have to translate it from three different languages to all sorts of people yeah bro. bro i've had days where i was fried yeah i get your point this is what we're saying like for example when i run a marathon i believe i had like three and a half k calories yeah with like 43 kilometers so imagine calories, how much bro. you're you it exhausts you of thinking and also it's a high level thinking right yeah. especially switching from chinese to english from english to dutch it's high level thinking and also yeah. what we're doing here bro let's be honest yeah. like the moves we have to make the decisions we have to do yeah it was it was quite heavy we man, really went back into the trenches eh? yeah man not i mean but we did it bro yeah, like bro. it's been a phenomenal two weeks i was, think uh, not gonna lie it has been two weeks to remember man Currently at Shanghai Airport on the way back to Dubai. It was an incredible two weeks with the team here in China. It has been very, very good for the company and also for, of course, the team building. <laughs> I've been waking up to 10, 15 messages every single morning of just the nicest things of people finding my channel through YouTube. And the reason I'm making this video is that I want you to know that I'm extremely appreciative of you being part of this journey. I just hit 10K subs on YouTube, growing a thousand subs a day, and uh, just getting the nicest messages and feedback on the content that I've been putting out. So um, currently on the way back to Hong Kong with uh, Wojtek. And uh, yeah, it's just... Uh, it's just crazy. I'm trying to get back to everyone, but it's uh, it's getting a bit out of hand. It's uh, it's too many messages, man. <laughs> I snap on the track like the fingers of Thanos. Como tan bien nos todos nos ganamos. Yeah, man. Boy, to go, he sits like this when editing or designing or even in meetings, man. Your back is gonna be gone. Boy, to and I are currently on the way to Hong Kong. I haven't been back in two months, and I'm just so excited to be at my own space wake up get a coffee get seated behind my desk and just get stuff done i got Wojtek flying business class for the first time how are those designs coming along bro amazing yeah. feels like i'm sitting in the office right now and not even on the plane yeah. good stuff man you're actually recording everything you do right yeah almost everything you're gonna teach those people exactly how you build products eh yeah i'm going to not teach them but show them how i do it and maybe if they like it they can implement it in saturday go back to hong kong Yes, going back to my uh, previous home. I was missing Hong Kong a little bit, living in Barcelona, so happy to be back. Morning. Sitting at this table for one, Morning. reflecting on the days in the month. Tip the way to win love, I set the fee, they couldn't pay me enough. Set the speed with my patience and trust. Feel the rage from the sun, cutting through cumulus. Knew the rudiments, making gleaming through the true abyss. Yeah. Walk the city that I grew up in, peeking through the lens. Speak the truth, they try and do you in. Catch me in the crib, yeah. building up a split, niggas swing and miss. Yeah. I can see the shift, uh, difference in the mist. Uh, get you Next, see you bliss, uh, tie strain, see you rip, uh, you ain't for me, then it's really clear, yeah, walk the bridge. Alright, so we're back in Hong Kong, very happy to be back, uh, 
haven't been back home in like two months so dropped off our stuff now we're gonna go and check out uh, Raymond Chung which is one of the most famous vintage watch dealers in Hong Kong I just wanted to see what he, what he has in stock currently uh, and we may be picking something up but I don't think so I just want to take a look um, and then afterwards we're gonna get a quick haircut and then we'll be heading back home and getting seated behind that desk and just powering through all the work that is on our plate are you happy to be back in Hong Kong well, I'm super happy to be back in Hong Kong Hong Kong is one of those places that to me really feels like home especially because I grew up in between Asia and Europe and Hong Kong is obviously a very good mix between those two cultures so I really feel at home here and on top of that what I really love about Hong Kong in comparison to cities such as Dubai and I've lived in New York I've lived in LA I've lived in Puerto Rico I spent loads of time in Cape Town as well as Dubai and the thing that all of these don't have is the mix between the energy a city like New York or London gives you yet still also all of the nature and the blue oceans it's just like an incredible mix like there's no skyline like Hong Kong having the vibe of New York City with all of these mountains behind it and I'm just super happy to be back so good to be back in Hong Kong man oh. Oh, yeah. And this one's good, huh? Good, oh, of course, good. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Very expensive, huh? I'm very happy with the one I bought last time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Famous designer, John Isaac. Wow. Ah. Look at this, man. He has such cool vintage pieces. Wait, wait, show. So, like, this is engraved by apparently a designer. Don't know the guy, but. 280,000? Uh, 280,000. What year is this one? Uh, 160018. Maybe 1979 or 1980. 1979? To 1980. Man, that has my name on it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but this one is more expensive than this I know. one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, bro, this one's nice, no? Maybe yeah. a double price or triple nice. price. Right? Yeah, it's uh -huh. a cool piece, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, this one's very nice. Show me. Guys, <laughs> vintage retail, oh, like what you Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, I don't like it being so gold. I feel like it's a little too flashy. For me. Bro, it is nice, eh? Don't you think? Man, as much as I love a good dinner, nothing beats a garlic noodle, man. This stuff bangs, bro. Awesome. <laughs> Back in the day when we couldn't afford fancy restaurants, we would always just get a garlic noodle, man. You got your first suit, eh? Yep. Bro, I need to get a haircut, man. Holy moly. Yeah, 30 minutes. Yeah, nice. Man, fuck it out. 6 a.m. Yeah. Actually, 7 a.m. Wojtek and I are, and another very good friend of mine are gonna go for a run. Uh, we're gonna end the run in Sheko at the beach. Just run straight into the water. <laughs> and then uh, we're gonna head back to, to work. Man, I need to wake up. <laughs> This is exactly what I mean. It's about 8, 8 a.m. right now. We started running at 7 a.m. Look at this, man. There's no city like it. Within, an, within half an hour, you're back into the biggest financial center in the world. And with just 10 minutes away from my apartment, we're running in such a beautiful nature, crazy landscape. Look at that view, man. Like, look at the mountains over there. Look at the mountains, bro. 
The mountains are crazy. <laughs> so this is what I need in my life, man. Just nature, good routine, good food. That's all I need, man. What the hell? This is wealth, bro. I swear, man. So it's almost 10 p.m. I have a few more calls still and Wojtek's out on a date. Good for him. And while I was sitting here, I was thinking, things are really happening for me. And it's very important to understand that this has been years of things that I didn't even know would fall into place as how they are falling into place right now. Like for example, spending years just dedicating an insane amount of time to learning Chinese Mandarin and a bunch of other things and everything is just coming together. And the reason I'm telling you this is not to brag, but I wish someone told me this because I've gone through this previously when I started to get momentum. And momentum is really everything. And the way I look at it is, is it's as you're driving a car and you're going really fast, like 300 kilometers an hour. And when you reach this pace, the momentum, you start to notice that every single movement you make is incredibly sensitive. And before you know, if you turn too quick or you make a wrong move, you just come crashing down. And the same thing applies to momentum in life. When things are happening for you, you need to be very cautious and very aware of every single thing you do. How you do them, why you do them. Because trust me, when you make one mistake, everything that you've worked on for the last years will come crumbling down. So it's incredibly important to keep both feet on the ground at all costs. So for those watching that are putting in the hours and just going through insane amounts of hassle and struggle and confusion around if you're doing the right thing, Trust me, I've been there. There are so many moments where years from now, you'll figure out like, holy shit, this actually made so much sense. So that said, I'm very excited to have you here. This weekend, we will actually be visiting something very special. I think this is definitely a peak moment in my career. I've done a acquisition of a which I still cannot believe so we're actually gonna visit it and obviously i'll take you guys through it so that said wanna thank you for being here i'm looking forward to all the positive messages and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video